when you talk about WrestleMania moments, is WrestleMania 25 considered your WrestleMania moment? Is that the Santino one? Yeah. I love uh, that you didn't even know. Yeah. No, I, I, I'm bad with the years and the numbers. Um, it's Oddly enough, that was my biggest WrestleMania moment, actually. Um, I was the captain of uh, Team Teddy. Um, I had a match with, uh, with Kofi uh, against, uh, against Big Show and, and, and Kane. So I, I, had some, I had some matches. But that was uh, like the most highlighted, spotlighted moment in WrestleMania. What was the lead up to that? So the lead up was just the storyline with, with Beth Phoenix and myself. Right. Where I was just trying to, I was battling to be the alpha in the relationship. So the, the relationship dynamics was, was what we were going after. And, you know, I was insecure and I'm trying to show that men are better athletes. So I'm going to dress up as a woman and enter the women's battle royal. And the whole idea was just for their storyline with Beth and I. And it was supposed to be a one off. But it was so funny that it ended up lasting for months and months. I had to get fake lashes every day and all that stuff. I had to go shopping in Houston at a mall for, like, the, the gear that day. What? Yeah. How did you know what to look for? Um, how did I? I got, so the arms, I got fishnet stockings, and I cut off the feet, and I cut, like, the crotch out, and I put my arms, so that was, like, a crop top, fishnet crop top. Um, I think somebody made the skirt. And then it was just like pink Converse and a bra. I went and bought a bra. And uh, it's funny because I said to the lady, excuse me, do you have a bra that'll fit me? She goes, oh, this is in Texas. She goes, you're a little itty bitty thing. No problem. And like, the, yeah, the bra, the bra was not a problem. And then, um, yeah, the wig and, and the st- <laughs> it's so funny. I had the strap. You can see the strap for the wig so it didn't fall <laughs> off. But I still have the stuff at home too. I went to Hot Topic and bought like a belt and, was there any point when this is being pitched to you when you're like, ah, that can't be serious, that I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to wrestle as a woman at WrestleMania? Yeah, so my understanding, and what, what one of my, my original coach, Don Koloff, said is like when, they, when you dress as a woman, it's like the, they're squeezing out the, the last bit of water out of, out of the rag type mm-hmm. thing. Like mm-hmm. this kind of could be the end but it wasn't no we, we we came back and we were santino for years after that and and um i was a little concerned about that like oh no like how do you come back from that right D- doing it i had no problem actually it's some of my, my my best work ever to be honest in terms of acting and bringing the character to life because now i had to have superimposed two accents the italian accent and a woman's voice so yeah and some of the pre-tapes we did as santino were hilarious i, I there and when santina said goodbye to the WWE universe. I started crying for real backstage. I remember Josh Matthews was there and he's like, when it was cut, he was like, oh my God, that was like an Oscar performance. I started really getting tears. Like I just got into it. I got into the character. Yeah, Santino was actually pretty fun.